Hello, I'm Kyle Stokes. Secretary of State Charlie White took the stand in an Indiana Recount Commission hearing today facing questions about whether he was eligible to run for office. At issue were documents showing White was registered at one address in Fishers while living at another address. White told the Recount Commission that his fiance was living in the second address and that he had to sign his name to the lease because of her bad credit. It's been more than three weeks since the storms ripped through south-central Indiana and several businesses are still rebuilding, as WTIU's Shamika Neely reports. Carrie Dillman, president of Dillman Farm, says several buildings on the property lost their roofs. He says the wind was strong enough to pick up a 12,000-pound boiler and shove it about five feet. It's going to be about seven weeks before they can redo the roof and get it finished. Our business, we're up over a million and a half damage. Uh, parents' house are over 300 with his barn, so it, it's quite a bit. It's really a whole lot more than I anticipated, and so the scope is a lot bigger, and, and it's just taken, it's going to take longer to get it fixed back up. This is the worst. This is the worst catastrophe we've had that's been declared here in Bloomington. In Indiana, State Farm agent Lisa Allen says between May 22nd and 26th, her agency took more than 3,800 home claims with a majority in Bloomington, and some are still being processed. Allen says nationwide, State Farm has paid out $916 million to recoup storm damage costs in April and May. The April and May storms together would be State Farm's seventh largest catastrophe for homes in its 90-year history. Dillman estimates it could take about three months before cleanup is complete and the jams and jellies the farm produces are again sent to the market. For WTIU News, I'm Shamika Neely. A Nobel Prize winning IU professor is being recognized internationally for her work on collective governance. Eleanor Ostrom is chairing a UNESCO conference in France on sustainable social ecological systems and will also lecture in Norway. In 2009, the political science professor became the first woman ever to receive the Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences. Taking a look at your forecast tonight, mostly cloudy with a 70% chance of thunderstorms, lows around 70. Tomorrow we stay warm with a mostly cloudy with a chance of 50% 50 50 chance of thunderstorms and highs in the mid 80s. Tomorrow night partly cloudy with a 40% chance of showers and isolated thunderstorms. For more on these stories and other local news, you can go to indianapublicmedia.org.